Hey guys, Blurry here, and today we are going over more future updates. Now, I know yesterday was also a future updates video, but that one was more Twitter, and there's just so much stuff being added to future updates, so I feel the need to make a video on this, because I do not want to make, like, a 20-minute video of future updates in, like, a couple days from now. Uh, so I have a video out for tomorrow. It's going to be a kind of controversial video. Well, not really controversial. It's just my opinion on some things that I feel like Greenville could change. It's mainly about uh, how you can, like, the way you buy cash and stuff. It's not being too serious, it's just like some changes I recommend for it, and how it's not really worth it to buy cash. Anyways, I'm into the video, but yeah, that video, it's, it's just kind of talking about how like you should just grind for money, blah blah blah. So anyways, uh, first of all, we have like this police taxi, I'm so confused on what this is. Like, just why? That's what I'm wondering right here, why? Also, a car I'm actually kind of excited for, a 2012 Chevrolet Tahoe slash Suburban LS, LT, LTZ, and Hybrid by someone named uh, Graham Crackers. Fiction Williams is the 2020 Chevron uh, Camion. I actually, I'm not a fan of Chevy, but I actually do like this generation of the Tahoe. It's actually really cool, in my opinion. They also did uh, some WSP variants right here. Pretty sweet. There's also the 2022 Western Mortar Synth and Synth Tar with 10 trims and 12 wheel options. These look interesting, but I, I don't think anyone in their right mind is going to drive this. Oh, they, they definitely look cool, but like, who would drive this? Like, honestly. Okay, actually, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I, I still don't know if I'd get one, but that I can't lie, that is pretty cool. And that is, oh, okay, that's not guaranteed, so who knows. There's also the 2017 Alexis LC500 refresh with new lights and a fixed tune, also spoiler delete. So I guess they're getting rid of the spoiler. Uh, it's just a refresh model. Still looks pretty nice. I do really like this Lexus. There's also the 2006 Porsche Carrera GT unreleased. Uh, hopefully that really soon. Uh, so they refreshed with update model, new lights, and engine bay. Fictional is the 2006 Ferdinand Altima GT. When this car comes out, just know for a fact that I'm gonna get this car. This car's so cool. It's one of my all. It's one of my dream cars. I'm for sure gonna get this if it comes out. And they're also gonna be uh, redoing the 2005 Ford GT. It has now improved two new sounds, tail lights, plus three new wheel options, which is pretty cool. There's also the 2015 Scion TC, fresh with improved lights, uh, new release Series Nine Toyota Celis base, huh? All right, so I guess there's like a Toyota version of the Scion. And the uh, fiction is the 2015 Velfire slash N3 XT Arena Sport. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Scion, but this car specifically is actually a pretty cool car in my opinion. I really like the two-tone right there. But I'm pretty sure like the older generation of this car was in Midnight Club 3. Mistake me if I'm wrong though. There's also the 2014 Toyota Highlander LE Limited and XLE by someone named... Uh, I do not have your name, I'm so sorry, but you make really cool cars, dude. Uh, and the car's fictional name is going to be the 2014 Hellfire Capital. I actually quite like this generation of the Highlander. The new Highlander, actually, I'm, if I'm, am I thinking that, I can't, I don't know if I'm thinking the right car or not, but I'm pretty sure the new Highlander kind of looks like an anteater, but I do like this generation quite nicely, so. They're also adding a 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 1516 trims, uh, if there's all the terms, I'm not going to read those. In fact, my name is going to be the 2013 Chevron Plateau 1500. Again, not a huge fan of trucks, but all these trims are actually pretty cool, honestly. I really, I love when they add a car with a ton load of trims, because even if everyone's driving the same car, everyone's going to have different trims, and it's just unique, you know? And finally, there's the 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser refresh with a completely new model, tune sounds, and now over 20 variants. And now 20, not over, but now 20 variants for the new panel and a three-door hatch, body cells, and 13 wheels. Fiction name's gonna be uh, the 2003 Chrysler FT Stroller. That is great. Look at all these cars. So if you do have the swag wagon like myself, you will just get a new one replaced. But look at all these variants. This is so cool. I, I, by the way, I do not like the PT Cruiser at all, but this is actually so cool. Um, I, yeah, I'm not a fan, but that black one right there, the, that actually does not look terrible. I feel like the car looks a lot better two-door. The car definitely does look a lot better two-door, but I'm not, I'm not, I do not like PT Cruisers at all, but these are, I can't lie, these are actually kind of cool. But I do not know what that one in over there is. So, and they're also going to do a facelift PT Cruiser happen later on, and all owners of Swag Wagon will get their car updated to the refresh. 
And again, I'm so sorry for the double feature updates videos. Uh, y yesterday was kind of like Twitter. This one was more or less um, like the actual like feature updates. And yeah, tomorrow we will go back to normal up to normal videos. I just like hiccup there. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.